and foot to the floor as we go racing in Austria. It looks like another decent start there from the top two, Schumacher and Stanek. Stanek holding behind Schumacher. Schumacher takes the racing line into turn one, undisturbed. Schumacher with a great lead so far on Stanek. Correa has managed to hold on to third ahead. That looks like potentially Jack Dewan has managed to get himself up to fourth place as well. As we have a look there, one of the Red Bull livery cars having a go. And we see, oh, that looks like the number 17. That is Victor Martin's been really forced out onto the gravel there nearly, but all just about making their way through. I think that's Arthur Leclerc in the background having to take avoiding action and get out of the way. Yeah, it really stacks up at the back of the field there into the real tight turn three as they all try and avoid losing their front wing. Down at the inside for Stanek, defending his position against Jack Crawford. Further down the field, still changes going as we see this massive oh. and contact there. I, I was looking at that thinking that was going to end badly. Logan Sargent had managed to get past, I think that was uh, Kayo Collette. Well, that is definitely Logan Sargent out of this race. We'll get a replay to see how it happened. It is the number 19, so it's actually it's Van de Helm. So that's who he overtakes there into turn one. Seemingly, job done from here, but then suddenly, what happens next? He comes back over to try and cut the line, doesn't re realise that Timon is already overlapped. I think Van der Helm thinks he's pretty in the right there. Stanek unable to open his DRS. He's 1.2 seconds. Stanek takes to the defensive line. Doesn't look like he do a lot. Crawford is going to try the outside, but Stanek really pushes him out wide over the curves into the runoff area. Crawford won't be happy about that at all. He tries to come back at him. This time, Stanek does open his DRS. He decides he wants to go at it as well. I think, crucially, he was behind Crawford very briefly to be able to open it. Crawford not giving this up, and look who's behind them. Correa having a little look, locks up slightly, just about gets it turned in, but Stanek holding on for second place in front of Crawford. Look at this, Stanek now having to defend even harder, but it looks like Crawford's got the job done. Can he hold it around the outside? We've seen a few collisions there in the past. Crawford, though, crucially, threw into second place ahead of Stanek. Enzo Fittipaldi having a go there on Jack Dewan as well. As Smolia comes tumbling down the timing screen, so either a transponder issue or he's really dropped down. No, there we go. We go nice and slow. For Jack, Jack Crawford's going oh, slow. Oh no, Jack Crawford's the 16 year old American showing pure pace and found himself in a bit of a sticky situation there. He's clearly lost drive, but he was on the racing line. Difficult to come back on there. Stanek now having to go even more on the defensive from Correa, and, there's and there's contact. big contact there, big contact with one of the ART guys, that is Correa and uh, Frederick coming together, they've got to be careful as well, Correa, to try and avoid the cars coming through the corner, because it's very close to the racing line. Frederick yeah. going really late on the brakes, too late on the brakes. Yeah, Vesti put Frederick under a lot of pressure and trying to defend from the car behind, he missed his braking point and uh, actually took Vesti's teammate out. Vesti goes at the inside of Edgar. Vesti looks like he's gotten up to fourth there, the ART man. Oh, the number 17 car, that is very, very, very tight. Martin's getting through on Stanek there, but doing it the risky way round. What a move. Look at this, the DRS plus the toe. He sort of sells the dummy a little bit, but Stanek wise to it, but just a little bit too late. And then that last ditch move, just dipping both both tyres onto the grass, but holding on to it sideways at one point. Besties tucked up behind Stanek, looking to the outside, but we know Stanek's been very strong on the brakes, covers his line nicely, falls Besty to the outside, gets an absolute great exit though, on the inside, DRS open. I'm pretty sure this move's going to be done now for Vesti. Looks like he's got the job done. Puts himself up into the podium position. Stanek now demoted down to four into the clutches of Edgar. Needs to break late here. Force his teammate in deep. Wait for the cutback. There you go. Can oh. He, oh, there's contact up in front with Colette. Colette and Fittipaldi come together, but also this is crucial. They carry on going. This is crucial for Leclerc, who currently holds the fastest lap. Up 17 positions now, and having a run on Fittipaldi because he's got the fastest lap, but he won't it's get those extra wide. points. And that, all oh, that was the number 18 cutting across. Uh, Kaya Colette cutting across Fittipaldi there. Leclerc was 11th at the start of this lap, now into 8th ahead of Fittipaldi and Colette. Let's see what happens. Oh, so that was a big, big incident. Big contact with Colette and Fittipaldi, which then gave Leclerc the run, who already got a nice cut back on his teammate while these guys were sorting themselves out. 
the battles are still not won out just yet. Stanek having to go once again defensive on Edgar, who's forced out wide. That's going to allow Hauger, crucially, to get a good run out of the back of Stanek. Could Hauger get fourth here? He's already up seven places. He'll want to make it eight. There's Vesti has a little look at the inside, but Hauger to the outside leaves a nice bit of room just in case. Gets it done. Very good move around the outside from 14 after the first two laps up to fourth. Victor Martins has got a problem from second in the race. That's another car seemingly just losing power and drive during the race. He's on the racing line. They're all going to have to go around him. Leclerc wants to make amends. He started right at the back of this pack. He didn't finish race one, and now he's gotten through on do it for sixth place. Leclerc showing that he is made of strong stuff here in Formula 3. Arthur Leclerc getting through. Schumacher seemingly never troubled from the start, but it will be David Schumacher to take his first win of the season in Formula 3. He crosses the line to win in Austria. It will be Frederick Vesti to come home in second. Dennis Hauger extends his championship lead with an excellent run to third place. Yes! Finally! Oh! Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. David Schumacher stands tall as your race winner in race two in Austria at the Red Bull Ring. Trident pick up their second win of the season, but it's David Schumacher's first ahead of Frederick Vesti and Dennis Hauger. There is Ralph Schumacher giving his son a lot of love. We do have another one tomorrow as well. Don't miss any of the Formula 3 action. We return tomorrow morning, 11.05 local time.